In this video, I will share one of my processes for creating 3D characters from scratch. This is not a process I will use if there is a production deadline for if one is in a rush, there are a lot of 3D character generator programs out there by now. A lot. And those programs are ever expanding beyond humanoid figures. What you're seeing here is the process I would use when I want the full-on magical experience as a creator. That is to say, I get to see my creation come into being from imagination to drawing to full form 3D. I started out drawing a few characters and I picked the one that have the visual temperament that fits the personalities I would like to bestow on him. With the front view confirmed, it is time to draw the side view for this character. The character is still and will always be open to changes, especially every time I get to go back to the drawing stage because of just how fun and fluidic drawing is in general. Even at this point, I'm already speculating making the character a little older. Just a little bit more mature looking. A little bit. Which will inevitably affect the front view. With the overall shape in place, it is time to draw in the topology of the head mesh. Wait, what? You draw it here instead of doing it on a computer? Yes! First of all, the topology that I'm using is really simple. I've talked about it extensively in a previous video titled Paper Craft Head DIY, where I talked about one of the best planes of the head structure I have ever came across that's useful both as a drawing reference and as a 3D base mesh starting point. Now it is time to scan it into the computer and start modeling the head based on the drawing. Blender has one of the most sought after features I was hoping for as a 3D modeler. It allows me to extrude edges without the need for faces. This allows me to be able to model as if I'm simply drawing lines, as the faces can always be filled up later. To be honest, I won't even call it modeling at this moment. Because of the precision of the drawing and me merely matching the lines, it felt more like tracing. <laughs> Now that I've traced out all my line drawings, it is time to refine the shape from various angles. This is a task that is easier to keep consistent in 3D than in drawing. I brought the 3D model back onto paper again to manually draw in the year shape that I would like for this character. I also took this opportunity to correct the topological flow of the 3D model. It is so easy to do this on paper, because the hand naturally tend to move in a flowy manner. Alright, time to model in the basic form structure of the year. One of the most difficult things for me when it comes to head modeling was determining the correct size for the eyeball. Now, if it is just a 3D sculpt that stays in one pose never to be animated, then it doesn't really matter that much. But if the eyeballs are to be animated slash rotated, it have to be the correct size. 
I brought the 3D model back onto paper to manually drew in what I felt was the correct size of the eyeball. And I also drew in a few clarification lines for the eyes. I then proceed to drag out a sphere inside Blender to match the size I've drawn for the eyeball. For the eyelid, I duplicated the eyeball, cutting it in half, one for the top eyelid, one for the bottom eyelid. I then rotate the eyelids to match the side view of how they are drawn, but not the front view, because that view will require sculpting, which is what we will do after this. And the base mesh is done! This base is now ready for sculpting. And here is the really good part about spending so much time at this early stage. You see, the proportions of this cartoon head has been established. Sure, during the sculpting phase, there can and will be changes, but the foundation proportions of how the character should look are already in place. You are good to go. The feeling of safety is there. In the next video, we will go through the sculpting phase. Again, because of everything that has been done here, it will be a pleasant experience. This is Brazil Jack and I will see you next week.